Hello, welcome to the European Open Briefing for Tuesday, July the 3rd. I'm Rafi Barajan, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be taking a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. So we've got quite a bit of an improvement in uh, risk appetite uh, this morning. Uh, yesterday we saw sharp losses in stocks and in uh, commonly linked and emerging market currencies uh, due to those heightened concerns of a trade war uh, between the US uh, and China as well as uh, uh, other regions trading blocs such as the EU. Uh, th we can see though that uh, stocks uh, are rebounding this morning, most Asian indices closing in positive territory uh, and we're also seeing a positive start in Europe as well. Chinese stocks uh, recovered sharply from earlier losses, uh, though the yuan did uh, slide to an 11-month low. If you look at the dollar index, um, it is uh, down uh, on the day, mainly on the back of um, recovery in the euro and sterling. Uh, the euro got a bit of a lift late yesterday uh, on news that Angela Merkel, Germany's uh, chancellor, has finally managed to resolve that row over migration with the junior coalition partners. Uh, and although sterling is also doing well this morning, uh, there's quite a bit of uncertainty uh, ahead um, as we have that meeting coming up on Friday where the uh, UK Prime Minister Theresa May will try and uh, come to an agreement with the senior ministers or what kind of a customs partnership the UK should have with the EU after Brexit. Uh, the Aussie is the best performer though this morning up by 0.6%. Uh, we did have an RBA meeting. Uh, there wasn't much direct impact from that. The Aussie's rebound is mainly uh, a technical correction due to uh, sharp losses recently having slid to one and a half year low uh, as well as uh, the improving risk on sentiment uh, this morning. Uh, the Kiwi though uh, is only seeing a, a more modest recovery uh, and the same can be said uh, for the Looney as well. Uh, gold is also up this morning having earlier hit a six and a half month low. Uh, so now let's look at the main moves. WTI crude is up sharply uh, following uh, supply disruptions in Libya. Uh, in terms of currencies, the Aussie dollar is the best performing pair, uh, while at the bottom of the table we've got the dollar index. Uh, let's now turn our attention to the Chinese Yuan, which because uh, the Chinese currency did fall to its lowest since uh, August 2017, hitting 6.7168 to the US dollar uh, before firming somewhat uh, on suspected intervention by Chinese authorities. So we've got the July 6 deadline approaching when it is expected that uh, the tariffs announced by the US of 34 billion will come into effect and China's uh, similar uh, tariffs will also come into effect the same day as well unless the two sides uh, reach some sort of a deal before then which is looking very unlikely. Uh, but all of this is weighing on Chinese businesses uh, which are very worried about the negative impact of those uh, tariffs uh, which come at a time when China's economy is already slowing uh, and all that uncertainty has led to sharp losses both in Chinese stocks as well as the, the yuan uh, since around about the middle of uh, June. Uh, let's look now at the dollar yen pair. Uh, it earlier did manage to hit a six week high of 111.13. It's currently trading just below the 111 uh, level. Uh, the dollar did get an added boost yesterday from a much stronger than expected ISM manufacturing PMI for June uh, and was also helped higher by positive close on Wall Street yesterday uh, for US stocks which haven't seen as much of a neg negative impact as Asian indices. Um, the dollar though uh, in recent days has mainly been gaining uh, due to uh, losses in commodity linked currencies as, as well as emerging market currencies uh, which are seeing more of a, a hit from those rising trade tensions than the dollar itself. Uh, and uh, one of those currencies has been the Australian dollar uh, because it had uh, fallen to a one and a half year low of 0 0.7308. Uh, it is up sharply this morning. Uh, it does seem to have met resistance at the 50 moving average in the four hour chart around 0 0.7380. Uh, but it is mainly being helped by the risk on sentiment. Uh, our, the RBA 
uh, announced its latest policy decision earlier today. They kept interest rates on hold as expected uh, and kept their growth outlook, but they did raise concerns about uh, the uncertainty to the global outlook from uh, the U.S. trade uh, policy. Uh, and quick look at today's economic calendar before we go. We've got UK construction PMI coming up very shortly, as well as uh, Eurozone data, including producer prices and retail sales. Later in the day, the main focus will be on U.S. factory orders. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.